Hey everybody. Hope you can see and hear me okay. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Everybody in the U.S., it's the day before Thanksgiving. Um, I hope you are not in stress mode. I hope you are um, in excitement, spending time with family, friends. We are actually headed over to a cousin's house uh, tomorrow. It has three little girls, which matches well with our three little boys. So they're always wondering, where are the cars? Um, so, um, I hope everybody's on. Let me make sure. I hope you guys, let me check on Facebook here and make sure that we're live. Um, and we'll get started. Maybe, if I can type correctly, make sure if you guys are on and you can hear me and see me, say, Give me a thumbs up, give me a smiley face, something here to let me know that you guys can, that I'm on and you can see me and hear me okay. Let's see. Yay! Okay, we're live. Okay, so uh, let me just introduce myself as some of you um, may be new to our Facebook page, but... My name is Amy Miller, and my husband is off um, right now in pre-Thanksgiving mode, but um, three years ago, our family was in a total survival mode. As a wife um, to a real-life superhero, I might add, uh, and a mom to multiples, uh, we were seeking natural solutions to care for our family's needs, and we were exhausted, we were overwhelmed with life, with finances, with caring for the health of ourselves and our sons. And when a sweet friend introduced us to doTERRA, we found way more than what we were looking for. We found solutions not only for our health, but our financial freedom. We also found support for our emotions. That was something I didn't even know that um, we could support in some natural ways. And we found tiny miracles that happen weekly in our family with oils. And we found miracles in the lives of our family because we now began to be focused on the big picture of our wellness instead of just trying, you know, symptom management with everything. And it's, it's astounding how, um, how our lives have just taken a natural shift. Um, and my husband and I were called to share this information with other families, with, with other moms just like you. So who am I? I'm a boy mom also. I'm a homeschooling newbie. I'm also a speech language pathologist and I've spent a great deal of time researching and pouring into the lives of those with special needs and challenges. Um, and so, but today we're going to be talking BOGO day three. So, um, and so if you don't already know what the BOGO deal that doTERRA is offering all Thanksgiving week, they are offering buy one, get one free deals. And today's is buy one Melaleuca and get a bottle of marjoram for free. So now um, Melaleuca, it's a 15 milliliter bottle. Both of these are. And so they contain around 250 drops. Um, and you're using, you know, one or two drops at a time. So it's a about 250 doses. Now, um, Melaleuca, or you may know it as tea tree oil, is best known for its purifying qualities, which makes it really great for cleansing the skin, home surfaces, um, purifying the air, and promoting um, healthy immune system function. And as a wholesale price, it is $19, and it retails, I think, for $25 and some change. Um, so let me show you Melaleuca. Okay, so it's, it's renowned really for its cleansing, rejuvenating effects on the skin, and like I mentioned, promoting a healthy immune function. It's also very protective against um, environmental and seasonal threats. And aromatically, it's a very herby smell. It's very green smelling. And doTERRA's Melaleuca is sourced in Australia, which um, it's interesting to note that um, 
Now, I don't know the name of how you say the name of this creek in Australia, but it's surrounded by these Australian tea leaves, and um, it's really held sacred by the Aborigines. And um, as the stickiness of the tea tree oil leaves fall into the creek, they created waters that the natives still consider, quote, magic healing waters today. So that's kind of neat uh, to note. But it's steam distilled from the leaves of the plant. And um, just as a side note with, with the chemical aspect, um, it's, it's mostly made of alcohols, and it's a very toning um, combination of chemicals. So it's, and like I said, it's, it's more commonly known as tea tree, um, it has over 92 different compounds chemically, so it really has limitless application. That's, and that's mostly why, even if you are new to essential oils, you've probably heard or maybe you've even used tea tree oil before. Um, but the leaves were, were used by the Aborigines in Australia for centuries. They would crush the leaves and then inhale the oils um, to promote clear breathing, and then they would also apply the leaves directly to their skin for a more cooling effect. So, but it can be used to cleanse and purify the skin and nails, and even taken internally, it can promote healthy immune system function and can be used on surfaces on your home, um, and also frequently used um, for the occasional skin irritation. So, now let's talk just a minute about emotions, okay? I know if you joined us on our BOGO video, our Facebook Live yesterday, um, I mentioned that there are emotional, emotional benefits of essential oils as well. And that was something that I was new to um, as I was introduced to doTERRA. And, um, and so it's not all hocus pocus. Um, you can find a lot of research and science behind the emotional benefits, and especially when you, when you combine the purity and the potency of doTERRA's oils, you, you get a really powerful effect on your emotional um, well-being. And so Melaleuca is known as the oil of energetic boundaries. Um, it's, it's said to kind of promote healthy boundaries, uh, specifically if you are in some kind of unhealthy, toxic relationships. Maybe you yourself or maybe you know someone that is in an unhealthy relationship. It can help not only help you to kind of step out of codependency um, and step out onto your in your own strength, your own individuality, but also helps to kind of release those connections that have become unbalanced um, or those connections with people that are keeping, you know, those people that are keeping you from growing, um, either personally, professionally, um, maybe either, either that are keeping you from growing and developing and deepening your spiritual um, walk with the Lord. And so, um, so now, of course, this cannot do so without also, you know, doing some other things where we're encouraged to create, um, or, um, you know, healthy relationships and, um, and things like that. So seeking those healthy relationships, um, oils that go really well with Melaleuca are all the citrus oils. Um, and, and a lot of the other, um, herbs like, um, rosemary, thyme, um, it goes, also blends well with eucalyptus, lavender. And so let me show you here. See, I, I think you guys can see me again now. Um, I want to show you now. Okay. Here's the melaleuca right here. Now the aroma is pretty distinct. For me, it's kind of like a cleaner. Um, it's very herbaceous. It's not my favorite aroma, to be honest, but I kind of just deal with it because it's really great oil for immune support and for cleaning. And so let me tell you some ways to use this oil. You can use it aromatically right out of the bottle or in a diffuser cupped in your hands. You can use it internally, um, like a drop in a small um, glass small shot glass amount of water. You can use it topically, again, one or two drops at a time, and you're diluting it with some sort of um, some sort of carrier oil. I like to use fractionated coconut oil. And so let me tell you some ways that you can use this oil. So 
for instance, for occasional skin irritations, you can apply one or two drops of the Melaleuca onto an affected area. Um, and you can put it in um, uh, some water with um, in a citrus drink or in a veggie capsule, an anti-veggie capsule to help support your immune system if you've been exposed to some unhealthy things and, um, and you can support your immune system that way. You can apply it to your fingernails and toenails after showering to help keep those healthy and um, cleansed. You can also put some drops in a spray bottle and use it to clean surfaces. So I'll tell you how we use it in our home. Uh, I like to combine Melaleuca with lemon and I use it in a homemade deodorant. I was actually just talking with a friend about this um, yesterday and um, I was talking about how, you know, we were making natural shifts and, and things like that. And um, we had tried so many times to find a deodorant that we could use that would, um, I, di I just didn't want to expose myself to all the aluminum and, and the many toxins that are in deodorants and how they can affect your body long term. And so I wanted to drink, make that natural shift, but every time I tried to make that natural shift, we stunk. <laughs> <laughs> I tried all kinds of different brands and things, and I finally came across a recipe. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try the recipe. And so I made it, and I, and I added the melaleuca and lemon. And um, when, you, when you study in a reference book, um, I love some great reference books that I use about oils. And when you study, you see the properties of melaleuca and lemon. You know why it's so beneficial to use in a deodorant. And so I put it in there, and it passed the Houston heat camp test for my husband. He works um, with children, and all summer long he was doing camps, and he was um, brave enough to try it, and every day I was <laughs> sniffing the armpits. And um, you know what? It worked, and we still use it today. this day. I make some every few months. It takes like 10 minutes to make. It saves us a bunch of money, and I'm not now filling my body with, um, additional toxins that can have major long-term effects. So, um, so another way we use it in our home, cleaning, cleaning spray. See this big, huge bottle? <laughs> so it's a cleaning spray. I make it with melaleuca and wild orange. You can also do the melaleuca and lemon. I just prefer the aroma of the wild orange. It makes me happy. It's a very uplifting oil, so I like to combine those two. I use this on all you know surfaces where, as a general cleaner, it's great for disinfecting surfaces and things like that. And so um, I love using this. And, again, it's saving me money, and it takes no time to make it. So, um, okay, another way we use it in our home, blemishes. I, I actually keep an extra bottle of this in my bathroom so that when I have a blemish or my husband has a blemish, we can use it directly on there. Um, and it lessens the time that you're dealing with that. It's really nice. Uh, we also use it, since it's so great for the skin, we use it on bobos. We'll make a bobo spray um, for our little boys. We have boys, all three boys, so we have a lot of those. Um, I also... Um, for fresh bottoms, you know, we're going to talk about using these. I put them in the little bathrooms, in the little toilet area, and if you need this for a cleaner bottom, um, I actually combine um, some Castile soap, a tiny bit of Castile soap, and uh, my Melaleuca and lavender, which is very um, nice and also calming for the skin too. So if there are any, um, if you're also changing diapers a lot and you need um, a little extra cleaning power that will also help keep the rashes away, then um, then this is also a great go-to. And um, also, now I know we're getting into winter time, so a lot of people are probably not um, spending a lot of time out in the sun, but during the summertime when we're out in the sun all the time, I love to combine frankincense and the melaleuca, lavender, and peppermint for a cooling after-sun lotion. Great, great for the skin. So, okay, so just a, a note on quality for just a minute here, and then we'll talk about marjoram for just a minute. And if you're, if you're commenting right now, I actually can't see any of your comments, so if you have any questions or comments, I'll go back after the, the video and I'll, I'll try to answer any of those. Let me see here if I can see any of them. No, I can't. I can't see your comments. So, um, so I'll just go back and a answer them afterward. So, um, okay. Let me see where I am here. Okay. 
So just a note on quality. Um, not all oils are created equal. So because of the lack of industry standards within for essential oils and a lack of regulation on terms like natural and pure, those of you um, who have been becoming um, expert label readers, we really have to become expert label readers and really informed consumers on what we're getting because we can't always trust what companies say. And so much of what you find in the drugstore is not a, a high quality therapeutic grade of essential oils and, um, and it may even contain contaminants or adulterates. It's way more common really than you think. And a lot goes into creating a high quality essential oil. So just let me tell you some, some things that a good brand, um, when you're looking for a good brand of essential oils, it, you want it to follow these guidelines. You want to look for a company that is providing um, the right plant varieties. Um, there are many species of different plants, and so you want to find um, a company that is searching for plant varieties that are going to yield the best results for us and our health. Um, because each Plant variety has different constituents. Talk with any master gardener and they'll tell you. Um, secondly, and this is probably one of the most important things, is that you're looking for a brand that, that is providing each plant that's grown in their native locations because that's going to yield the healthiest plant. Okay, so um, it, it will also make it a more potent essential oil, which means more effective. Um, you want to look for a brand that's it's grown without chemical pesticides, herbicides, um, that they're harvested with um, the right timing, that they're extracted with the proper temperatures and pressure to preserve the, the oil, the quality of the molecules. And then the second most important is also that they're third party tested every single batch because um, we go back to that regulation there. Um, any company, any brand can say whatever they want. So you want to look for those. Okay, let's move on to marjoram for just a minute. Okay, so now here's the marjoram here. It's again a 15 milliliter bottle and it's very calming. It has a positive effect on your immune support and your nervous system and it actually was once known as a, uh, a symbol of joy and happiness in some of the ancient cultures. So let's talk about some of the, the main benefits for it. It's very valued for its calming properties. It has um, very sedative properties and um, it's very supportive to the healthy immune system and it may even provoke, uh, promote a healthy cardiovascular system. Again, use your reference books if you need um, for additional information on those things, and if you need some recommendations for some reference books or tools, comment below, and I'd be happy to um, to get you hooked up with some of those. I can give you some recommendations. So it's a very warm, um, woody, and smell, and it's also it's also an herb, so it's you know got that herby smell, and it's it's also steam distilled from the leaves, and it, chemically it also is. Um, toning and is also made up of a, a lot of alcohols. So it's known as, as the winter sweet or the, the joy of mountains. It was known a lot to the Greeks and the Romans as a symbol of happiness. Um, it's also, you've probably used the, the herb itself in culinary dishes and things like that to add flavor to your soups and your stews uh, and things like that. In Germany, the herb is actually known as a goose herb because it's traditionally used in roasting geese. So um, now in modern applications, it's, it's valued and also in our home for its calming properties and also for its positive effect on um, both your cardiovascular health and your immune system. And so um, let's talk for a minute on a couple of uses and, um, and then we'll kind of move on to, to some more. Well, actually, let's, let's go on to... Um, some of the emotional benefits first, okay? So emotionally, um, this oil is the oil of connection. So think about, um, it's, it aids those who are unable to trust others or those who are having trouble forming some meaningful relationships. Um, and, you know, maybe that inability to trust 
comes from maybe some harsh life experiences or, um, and then it develops in this fear of a close connection with others. So think about um, you yourself or others you may know that may tend toward either reclusive behavior or protecting themselves from some social interactions and things like that. Um, or maybe even unconsciously sabotaging long-term relationships. Or maybe they're, you, um, they're seen as cold. And so what this oil can help um, emotionally is helping um, some, someone trust human relationships. Okay? Softens your heart and helps kind of heal past wounds. And when you begin to feel safe and loved, you can um, express yourself more freely and, you know, with more authenticity. So, um, so it brings you more open, connected with others. And usually when I'm trying to use an essential oil for emotional benefit, I will use it aromatically. But not always. Sometimes I will use it topically um, on pulse points because that way I'm also getting it aromatically that way. So your pulse points, like your, your wrists, the back of your knees, behind your ears, those kinds of areas. Um, and so let's go on here to uses, okay? So marjoram. So we've talked about, now for me, from the bottle, it, um, it smells very herby and a little spicy, but... When you diffuse it, to me, it smells so much sweeter to it. It has a sweet aroma to it as well. And um, honestly, it, I mentioned the sedating properties. When I smell it, I feel drowsy. <laughs> so, um, so now you can use this oil aromatically, topically, and internally. And uh, let me show you some, so some uses. So you can apply it to the back of your neck to um, help with some feelings of trust. Uh, stress, um, applying it to a fussy child's feet prior to nap. Again, those sedative properties and things like that, very calming. Um, you can also replace this oil um, in place in your cooking and your recipe that calls for dried marjoram. So usually one drop of essential oil is equivalent to about two teaspoons of the dried herb. Now, this oil packs a punch. So you may want to start with just one drop or like maybe, maybe even sticking a toothpick in and just swirling it into your dish. So, um, but I love it when I'm, when I'm out of an herb or, um, or sometimes I just like using the oil better. And so I will not, I don't even, some of them, like my cumin, I don't even buy my oil any, uh, the herb anymore, or the, sorry, the spice. And so I just actually use the oil. Okay. So, um, you can also apply it to your muscles before and after exercising. Very soothing. And, um, let me go. Let me talk about some ways that we use it in our home. So, um, and when I say our home, I'm actually going to talk about my family too because my dad has used this oil to support um, his cardiovascular system and applied it topically um, with, with a, combined with a carrier oil and applied it topically. Um, I have used this on many occasions combined with lavender and the diffuser at night to help with increasing the quality of sleep. And, um, and I also love using this combined with lemongrass, um, and some other soothing oils for muscles and to relieve those muscle aches and pains and things like that. So, um, if you have any questions, please comment below. And if you want any of the recipes that, um, you've seen some of the things that I've talked about of the, the little things that we've used in our home with the melaleuca and marjoram. If you'd like those, connect with us. Connect with us on our, our website at 3lifeessentials.com. You can connect with us on our Facebook page here at the number 3 Life Essentials. Um, you can see our also connect with us either uh, via email. We are also on Instagram. And then if you'd like to be added to our private uh, Facebook group that we're doing just this week for the BOGOs all this week and staying in tune and in um in the know with all things BOGO, then you can um, comment below and we'd be happy to add you. Now, if you are um, a wholesale member with doTERRA, you can actually order the Melaleuca on your own account. There's a limit of five per account. Um, you can order through your wellness advocate, the person who invited you to this, or you can order through us. Now, um, 
if you just comment below if you'd like to be added to our private Facebook group that's highlighting all these things the, um, this BOGO week or connect with the wellness advocate who invited you. They may be running their own group, so connect with them. Now, we're doing bulk orders for the BOGOs, and you can save on your shipping, so just let us know if you'd like to take advantage of that. So thank you guys, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow with tomorrow's BOGO.